You probably think this is only going to be the best parts of my 2019. Well, you're wrong. Let's take it back to January. January is the start of show choir season, and I made it my mission this year to go to as many competitions as I possibly could to support all of my wonderful friends. I also decided to get a membership to a gym so I could start working on myself. Uh, long story short, it didn't last very long and I got kinda lazy. Oops. January <laughs> meant it was the start of my concert journey for the year. And my friend Rebecca asked me last minute if I wanted to see Panic at the Disco. I didn't know who they were at the time, but now I'm obsessed and I'm so happy I was able to go. Because I left Eileen's in January, that means I was working at Justice a lot more, and that means I saw a lot more shipment, which meant a lot more work for me to do. The fuck? I also moved in with my friend Elizabeth and we had so much fun, but sadly I started getting really depressed and I didn't know how to handle it at the time. I still don't, but I spent a lot of time at the zoo because that's where I go to feel happy. You know, going to some more show choir competitions, seeing some amazing performances, and Elizabeth and I decided to go downtown to see all the flooding that's been happening in Omaha, and it was honestly really, really sad. By the way, I had to call the cops on some teens. That's a whole nother story. I also went back home for the first time to visit Avery and the rest of the family and to tell them that I met Jojo Siwa. Hi, I mean, Avery, look at that. I can't even believe that happened. Oh, I'm so happy. My insane amount of love for Elle Mills also grew so much. I attempted to try dressing like her. Taylor, what were you doing? I'm at the top of my mental breakdown, Elizabeth. What am I doing? Yep, you heard that correctly. I bought a guinea pig. Mills is my oh! bestest friend, and I'm so glad I got her. But I was going to Minnesota in just a few days, and I had to bring her with me. And I'm kind of glad I did. And just a few days later, we were off on our journey to Minnesota to go see Why Don't We Perform. Kind of wish she could have came to the concert, but I know she had her own little dance party back at the hotel, safe and sound. back home i decided to take a quick pit stop and visit my friend keely to in introduce her to mills i think it's safe to say they hit it off <laughs> moving on to may not only was it my birthday and did i see jack and jack but i also saw the incredible the talented pink i bought my mom tickets last year for her birthday and this was one of my favorite concerts start to an incredible summer and it will be but first i experienced my first panic attack it was the worst thing in the entire world and i don't ever wish this upon anyone i'm just so grateful i had an amazing friend to help me get through it i didn't do much for my birthday but that's because the best was yet to come june started off with camp hot shots followed by the most incredible experience of my entire life i don't even know how to begin but i met the one the only Sean Mendez. Yes, you heard that right. I met Sean freaking Mendez. Now, I'm not going to tell you what the whole experience was like because I have a separate video on that, but you just need to know that it happened and I'm still shook to this day. Post-concert depression was definitely hitting me hard and it made it even worse going back to work. 
Also, I've had three jobs since I've last updated you and don't hold on to anything because this job wasn't going to last much longer, especially after what happened next month. Before I talk about the bad things, let's take a look back at the highlights of this month. I reunited with the friend Emily that I didn't see at camp this year. It was also Avery's 7th birthday. And yes, I saw Shawn Mendes for the second time this tour. Less than 48 hours after this concert, my mental health took a turn for the worse. And I honestly didn't think I would ever see the light of day again. Even though I had an amazing friend by my side that whole entire night, I still felt alone and scared like no one or nothing could help me. I didn't know what to do. A few days later, I lost this job. I also lost a very important friendship. Kind of felt like I was going through a breakup. I've never been in one before, but it felt pretty close to it. I'm thankful that was the lowest I've ever felt, and since then, I'm doing so much better, especially thanks to this amazing program that I started in November. So instead of celebrating my sister's 15th birthday, I took Avery to go see Jojo Siwa live in concert. I mean, sorry Bailey, but this was 100% better than staying at home. Not even a week later, I was back at it again. This time I was seeing Why Don't We for the second time. Not only did I see them, but I met them. Yes, I met them. If I'm being completely honest, besides getting a new job, nothing happened in September. Like, I barely even remember it. So let's just skip over to October. If it wasn't for the Jonas Brothers getting back together, October would probably have been my favorite month of all time. Once again, I was at another concert and it was to see Scotty Sire. Yeah, you heard me correct. Scotty Sire, he came to Omaha, Nebraska with his friends, Sunreal, Bruce, and Chris, and Todd. And I am so forever grateful for that experience. I walked away with two new best friends, Hallie and Chloe. Shout out to you guys. Love you and miss you the most. Also, we call ourselves Nebraska Vlog Squad. <laughs> I just want to take a moment and say the reason why you're watching this vlog or any of the, my videos this year is because of this man and it's all because i messaged him saying thank you so much for coming and for helping me meet my two new best friends and i told him i vlogged the whole experience and he said to send me the link whether he watched the video or not i don't really care it gave me just the motivation i needed to start posting again because this is my dream this is what i want to do and something like that made my whole world like taylor this is possible you just needed another chance so i briefly mentioned that i started working on my mental health again all thanks to this new program well the program is called meta life created by sam and colby well i had no idea who sam and colby were a couple months before this but when I heard more about them and started watching them, I realized this is going to be a good thing. I need to start working on myself. I need to start putting myself first. And I've already been a month in and it's literally the best decision I've ever made.
Sadly, this is the last concert for me for 2019, but I'm so glad it was the Jonas Brothers. I started and ended this decade watching them perform. They have always been and always will be my favorite band of all time. Their music helps me, it inspires me when I'm sad, when I'm happy, when I'm angry, when I'm upset, when I'm excited. They're always the first people I turn to. I think it's safe to say that 2019 was quite a roller coaster for me and honestly I probably wouldn't have changed it for the world. I could have just posted the highlights, the biggest, the best moments of my 2019, but as a human being I know that's not real life. You're going to have your ups and you're going to have your downs and I want to be able to look back in a couple years and see how far I've came. I'm a completely different person from the start of the year till now and next year is going to be the same and I'm just going to get bigger and better and my mental health has never been so good. Yeah, every day is a new challenge for me, but for the most part, I feel so much stronger than I did at the beginning of the year. And I want to say thanks to MetaLife. I want to think thanks to my friends. I want to think, say thanks to anyone that's been in this journey, whether you hurt me in the past or helped me in the past. Thank you for making me who I am, truly. I'm so excited for what the future holds for me and I'm so proud of myself for continuing at this dream. And I'm so proud of myself for not giving up yeah it took a while to get there but i'm not stopping anytime soon like hey look grandma i'm doing it and i'm making you proud and that's the only thing that matters to me anymore so i'll see you guys in 2020.